Hey guys and gals, it's time for another update. We're into week eight and nine here. Uh, once again, I am going with a video for the previous two weeks because honestly, there's been little movement in that time frame. But I am excited to say within that two weeks, I feel very confident in saying that I have reached my goal of getting to 200 pounds or below. I've uh, consistently been weighing in at that 199 to 200 mark, so I feel that I am officially there, and it's been such a good feeling to have reached this milestone. Uh, for those of you who have been following my videos, it was a goal of mine to get to 200 by the end of January. Today's January 26th, so uh, I am there. And uh, as you may have seen from my video thumbnail this morning, I weighed in at 199 even. So, um, man, it's, it's awesome just to see that number continue to go down and down and down. Um, you know, I, I just have this mental boost going into February as a result of that. So I'm really looking forward to the next month. Uh, you know, I, there's another thing that I've also come to realize uh, something the other day that uh, has also given me a mental boost here and perhaps you've been there yourself and that is, uh, you know, have you ever like caught yourself walking through a store somewhere and caught a glimpse of your reflection off the glass doors like of the freezer section at the grocery store or uh, something like that? You know, man, I sometimes I'd see myself in the past and, and I'd just be like, you know, well, like whenever did that happen to me you know like how did I get here uh, for well for the for the first time in a long time uh, I, I caught such a glimpse and I I saw a noticeable difference uh, you know so just uh, taking notice of that in myself um, is it, it was just awesome you know it was great um, it, it continues to give me that reaffirmation that um, reaffirming that you know I'm doing the right thing here and um, to show you kind of what I mean in that I'll, I'll read off some of the numbers from when I weighed in at the gym last time I was there uh, they have this what's called the in body machine um, that you can you stand on and you kind of grab these handles and it gives you all kinds of different measurements um, including your BMI and uh, hopefully this will show up on the screen here okay. But I'll read these numbers off. You can see the, the graph starting up from the top and, and working its way downward. Uh, but back on August 2nd of 2022, I weighed in at 213.2. Now this was before I started using Saxenda. Um, I was trying to get myself into the gym and just trying to get into that habit before starting using the medication and uh, September I went up to 214.8 uh, and it wasn't until December 5th of 22 that I went down to 210.0 so that was a little bit of time after having started Saxenda and then on January 13th of this year I weighed in at 201.8 and for the first time my BMI went down to 29.0. So I have officially escaped the obese category according to the BMI scale and I am now classified as overweight. So uh, I will take that. I have not been in the overweight category for quite a long time now. Um, so here we're gonna keep marching downward and see if we can get that number down um, even more in the month of February. So I'm um, really excited about that and it's just really great to see that BMI uh, dropping. But aside from the numbers, right, um, what's even better is grabbing some clothes from the closet. And now for me, it's less frustrating because I'm more confident and not having to go uh, just for the looser fitting clothes all the time. Um, you know, I don't really buy clothes often, so <laughs> Um, I wear a lot of the same stuff. I've had a lot of the same clothes for years. Uh, and, you know, of course, over that time, the weight's been up and down, up and down. So uh, being able to, you know, grab some of those clothes that I was previously less comfortable in um, ha has been nice. 
So don't get me wrong here. I still got a little ways to go. Um, you know, with the, the numbers since November 19th to 14.6 and now at 199.0. As of this morning, that's a, a net loss of 15.6 pounds. So let's keep it going. And, uh, you know, with that, I'm starting to think about some of the content for my next sets of videos. I was thinking about maybe doing something like taking some quick shots of my breakfast and my lunch preparations. Um, just kind of show you what my uh, morning and kind of lunch routine is because on the daily they're pretty similar. Um, you know, dinners, um, you know, vary because sometimes I cook, sometimes my wife cooks. Um, and we usually set our uh, dinner meals, um, you know, a week ahead in advance. So um, if you think that's something you'd like to see, you know, let me know down in the comments. And if you are liking the content, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, it lets me know that the things I'm talking about are of interest to you. And drop a comment if there's anything that you'd like me to share about my experience in an upcoming video. And I'll be happy to do so. Uh, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe. And, uh, you know, thanks again for everybody that is watching and following along with me. Um, I do plan to submit a video one week from today, either Wednesday or Thursday next week. I don't think I'm going to do a two-week wait period this time. Um, I am kind of getting back into the swing of things after, you know, the holidays and getting ramped up back into work and <clears throat> getting into that regular routine of, you know, that 40-hour work week. Uh, whereas before, you know, I had quite a bit of time off of work and stuff. So um, trying to find that... Um, groove of getting back into the gym um, and balancing that out with the kids extracurriculars and uh, work and all of that good stuff so um, all right everyone well until next week uh, we'll see you later